Marcus McNeil. Go Marcus! And he's getting called from everywhere, but we're here with Marcus McNeil from the uh, San Diego Chargers. And uh, we just want to talk to you about your foundation, Marcus Miracles. Tell me why you started this foundation. I started Marcus Miracles, you know, basically because of my family. You know, real big into my family. My family's here tonight in the event. And you know, uh, I got a decent nephew. And my nephew, all he wants to do is play video games and stuff like that. So I kind of want to promote him to run outside playing baseball, basketball, football, like I did when I was young. You know what I'm saying? It kind of kept the fitness up. You know what I'm saying? And in my knees, I sit down real well every night. You know, my knees just something every night. So I was like, I want to kind of get in the education side too. So, you know, I went to my family and I kind of got the physical education part of it, the education side. And like, when I came back, I had all my friends come back and they threw their money to me. You know, uh, my friends threw their money to me. Right now. Everybody threw their money to the foundation.
time we started sending out messages to people's cell phones and their two-way devices. At the time, Cats was rocking the Motorola T900s and <laughs> yeah. boards and all that. We could beam each other. And so we really took advantage of the technology that our community was using. And um, that's how we grew all hip-hop up to what it is today. Now we have Seth Perkins. Wow. It's growing. And man, I mean, my, my dreams have come true. You know, I, I, I frequently tell people that build and that I've met all of the people that I've wanted to meet from, you know, uh, Ronald Isley to Isaac Hayes to Jay-Z to Russell Simmons to intimately knowing every member of Run DMC, including Jam After Jay, including yeah. Pat. So, you know, to, to know so many and to be intimately involved uh, on, a, on such a level with so many of my heroes, you know, every day I wake up and I'm like, damn, uh, you know, I know Rev Run. Yeah, Rev Run's words of wisdom Run, every day. I, I read them every day. I can tell you what today's message was. What today's message? Oh, she's gonna put me on the spot. <laughs> put you on the spot. Come on, Grouchy <laughs> Greg. No, he, he ain't lying. He ain't lying, y'all. Today's he ain't lying. message is make it happen. Rev Run. Read it right there. <laughs> okay. Make it happen. Okay, okay, we believe you. Hey, what's Yo, the name come from? People always ask why they call me Grouchy Greg, because nine times out of ten I wake up on the wrong side of the bed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the legacy that you created, what advice can you give? The biggest, the biggest um, advice I could give to young people coming in the game is a few things. Is that, you know, you have to realize that you have to be patient. You know, nothing is going to happen for you overnight. You have to work. You have to put in the work. I know when you turn on the TV and you hear success stories about people who were discovered in the mall and they go to being on the fast track, it's not real. You know, behind every overnight success story, I promise you, there's five years worth of intense work. So that's number one. The second thing is knowing that you're going to be faced with adversity. People are not going to want to see you succeed until you succeed. You know, no disrespect to anybody that I know, but when I first started, I had naysayers. Uh, a hip-hop website. What? What is that? 97, a hip-hop website? People thought I was absolutely crazy. But those are the same people that say, I always knew you could do it. <laughs> you got to love them for that because they love you no matter what. They just... You, wanna, you know, everybody thinks they know they got, everybody thinks they got your best interest in heart, even though you know better. So sticking to your guns and sticking to your dreams is very important. So, what's up, y'all? This is Grouchy Greg, allhiphop.com down here in Atlanta with fineentertainmentnow.com. Y'all need to check it out because that's where you will find all the latest 